Today, I'm gonna to teach you a power tool that you can use anywhere at any time in just 60 seconds. It helps with emotional eating, it helps with mindless eating, and it can help with a binge. It helps with stress and overwhelm, and you can even use it in the middle of the night if you wake up feeling worried. I'm Dr. Melissa McCreary, and if you're new here, I'm a clinical psychologist who specializes in helping smart, busy women break cycles with the three O's, overwhelm, overload, and overeating. Today, I'm going to teach you a very simple but effective breathing pattern that you can do anywhere. Nobody needs to know you're doing it, and it is a very powerful way of moving out of cycles with automatic behaviors. So automatic mindless eating or emotional eating, eating to numb out or to push down a feeling. It's also very effective with stress and anxiety. And get this, it works really well even if you feel like you're not doing it right or you're doing a bad job of it. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this in a moment, but first there's something very important that you need to know. Our body has physical responses to stress. There's a physical stress response. We also have a physical relaxation response. When we get anxious or stressed or triggered by difficult emotions, our body and our brain tends to react without a lot of thought. It's a physiological fight, flight, or freeze response, and it's an old survival mechanism. The problem is this can cause a number of problems. When we're in a stress response, we're not likely to give a lot of thought to how we'd like to solve a problem we are more likely to revert to old familiar habits, maybe habits that we've tried really hard to break. We're more likely to react on autopilot, to mindlessly reach for something to eat to try to soothe ourselves or numb or push away a feeling so that we can keep going. Unless we're running into a burning building to save a child, being in that stress response is not setting us up to make very helpful decisions. The key to taking our power back from emotional eating or overeating in these situations is to first do something simple to break out of that stress response. When our body wants to flee or fight or freeze, it's important to be able to execute what I call the pace response. We want to be able to pause, might be taking a deep breath, so that we can assess what's going on Ugh, I'm feeling really nervous and all I want to do is just go into the kitchen and get some potato chips. After we've assessed, that allows us to make a choice. Okay, I could go eat the potato chips and that might help for a little bit, but I'm still going to be nervous and I'm going to feel crappy afterwards. Um, or I could do something that might really soothe me in the longer term. And then we can execute. We can actually move forward with that choice that feels right for us. You know what? I'm going to hold off on going and getting those potato chips for about 15 minutes. I'm going to just try to calm down. I'm going to put on some relaxing music and I'm going to see if that helps a little bit. I call this the pace process and the breathing that I'm going to show you right now will take you out of the stress and reaction mode so that you can start to pace things and move forward in the way that you want to instead of reacting on autopilot and doing the things that you don't want to do. One more thing. This is really important. When we're anxious or stressed or overwhelmed or feeling strong emotions and somebody asks us to focus on our breathing, it can feel really hard. And that's because it is. If you are in the middle of a stress response and your body is having that stress rep response, then you're actually geared to be taking more shallow, frequent breaths. And trying to focus on your breathing or slow down your breathing is going to feel awkward. That is normal and that's absolutely okay. The mistake that a lot of smart women make is they try to do some kind of breathing exercise, they feel like they're not doing it very well, and then they quit. This is what I want you to remember. Your body cannot get more stressed and more relaxed at the same time. Those are two opposite reactions. And so if you've got a stress response going and you start to do something that starts to bring on the relaxation response, even if you're doing it really poorly because you're already very stressed, it's going to back down the stress response. Even if it feels like, oh my gosh, it's not working, I'm not relaxing, it may be that what you're doing is, is decreasing that thing that was getting worse and worse and worse and worse, the stress response, so that the relaxation response can begin to kick in. 
you don't have to feel blissed out or completely calm when you try to do a breathing pattern and you're not going to if you're coming from a place of overwhelm or anxiety or being in that place where you're ready to eat all the snacks in the house. So let's dive into the breathing exercise. Let me show you how this works. What we're going to do is we're going to inhale for a count of four, hold for a count of four, exhale for a count of four, wait for a count of four, and then we're going to repeat the process. This is also called square breathing because you can imagine yourself breathing a square in hold, exhale, wait, and sometimes that's a helpful pattern to have in your mind. Another helpful thing to know is that each cycle, each square in the pace breathing takes about 15 seconds. So in 60 seconds, you can do about four cycles of breathing and you can do as many of these cycles as you want, but 60 seconds can start to bring you from that stressed reactive place into a more relaxed, calm place so that you can pause and assess and choose and execute the kind of decisions with food that you want to make. Okay, so you ready? Let's exhale. And now we're going to inhale two, three, four. Wait two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four. Wait two, three, four. Inhale two, three, four. Hold two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four, wait, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, Exhale, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Pause, two, three, four. And then take a deep breath. And just notice how you feel in your body. You should feel more present. You should feel more, a little bit more anchored and centered. You're now in a place you have paused. This is a great place to assess what's going on. What am I feeling? What do I need? Am I hungry? Is it something else? What kind of choices could I make? Can I walk into the kitchen and get some chips? Yes. Could I also go for a walk? Could I do a few more rounds of the pace breathing? What would serve me the best? What would be most helpful? What would take care of the feelings that I'm having? And then you can execute. You can make a choice, not from a place of reactivity or from a place of mindlessness or from a place of being on autopilot, but from being in a grounded place where you've done the pace process and you can continue to move forward one step at a time. Now you have pace breathing in your toolkit. The next step is to take the Hidden Hunger Quiz. It's a free quiz that you can take to determine what it is that's driving your overeating and what the next best, most strategic steps are for you to break the cycle. I'll drop the link in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and be sure to click the bell so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. I'll talk to you soon.